there's some super secret like magic voodoo wizardry that involved that's involved I think I don't really know exactly so I'm not gonna even bother because this game can be very tricky sometimes there are times when it has like hidden ladders inside of the ground most it's pretty easy to tell when it's actually there but you know we're just gonna get more missions maybe two if this guy wants to get us a lot of money Ooh. this thing's kind of useful I mean yeah, elite mobs, I think, are just things like this one that has a little outline around the health bar. And so it can be useful. It mostly adds up later in the game as you fight a lot more elite mobs. That's when it starts to be more good. Early on, it's not super great, though. But oh well. So hopefully we'll get 10 gold out of these two guys. Or 10 money, dollars, whatever. Yeah, dollars, it seems like. Or at least it uses the dollar sign. I'm not sure if it's actually technically dollars, though. So we're just going to keep on killing this guy. And then we will get... Okay, yes, $50, okay. So we're gonna go buy this chest. We're gonna ignore the little flame thing for now. I don't even know what they're called. I've been playing this game for quite a while. Ooh, ukulele. See ya. Bam. Yep, there you go. So you got to see what the ukulele does just a little bit. It just electrocutes things. It's really cool the way it does that. And bam. See? I love these things. They're really annoying though, so get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Yes, got them. See, they think that they're especially using fire, but I mean, that's kind of my trademark thing. Unfortunately, I don't think this game actually has flamethrowers until very late on in the game. And the flamethrowers it does have, you don't actually technically get to use. It's um, drones that you can command. Speaking of drones, there's a drone right there. So, as you can tell, it's kind of broken. So I have to repair it, and then it'll follow me around. So let's see what type of drone this is. It is a regular drone. They're not that good. So there's a regular drone, there's an attack drone, I think there's a laser drone, and then there's the healing drone. Killing drone's the one I like to go for early on. The attack drone's also pretty useful. Basically, the difference, I think, between the attack drone and the regular drone is that the attack drone's like a stronger version of the drone, and I don't really notice much of a difference. I just noticed that the drones tend to die a lot, and the, regular, the other ones don't. So, a chance to bleed on hit, so now I have a chance that I will make them get in pain, which is pretty nice. So, we're gonna go up here, we're gonna buy this chest, we're gonna kill this robot. Ooh. We've got, yeah, the snake eyes I don't really like too much, they're not very useful either. But, fortunately, we have these two things over here. So, yep, we got enough money. So now, you see, when we spawn the imps in over here, they'll be trapped. So then, we can teach them to mess with me. Bam! Haha. Uh -huh. And so we got this increased health regeneration. That's a nice one, I like this one. So now we got a couple of elites spawning in. As you can see, it's getting a little bit more tricky now, not really much yet. Basically, every time you start a level, it doesn't really do much. And then, as you start exploring a little bit, stuff starts spawning in a little bit more. And then, eventually, you get to the point where you're extremely overwhelmed. And, later on in the game, some bosses actually spawn in when you haven't even completed a level. Like, just in the middle of a level, bam, boss. And that's when it gets really difficult. There have been times before when I've been fighting, like, four bosses at once. It's pretty crazy when it does that. Okay, there we go. So now we've gotten every upgrade from that imp thing, so now we're just gonna fight these guys. Get our way to the, um... Oop, two robots at once. Yeah, they're probably not even robots, I mean, because all they do is smash. Although there are definitely robots later on. And I think that the whole story of this is basically just that you're on a deserted... Or not deserted, it's obviously not deserted. You're on, like, some foreign planets, and you just crash land, and you have to teleport to different ones to get away and survive. And now we're low on them. So we're just gonna kill this guy. Woo, lots of money. Sup, guys. So we're just gonna save the FMJ thing for when we're on this side, so BAM! We can really splatter some crap. Okay, so we are going to wait. Okay, we got the FMJ. BAM! I love doing that. Okay, I do not like this power up though. I hate this power up actually. With a burning passion, because all it does is uses my money to kill stuff. And I don't like the idea of using up 50% of my gold every single time that I want to kill something. I'm sure the bomb can be useful later on in each level because then you tend to get a whole lot of money and don't really need it. But it still is a bit of pain like sometimes. So now I think it'll be a good idea. You know what, we should probably activate the teleporter and then we can start making our way around the map to get some power-ups in the meantime. So first let's take out these guys. Colossus! Oh, he's fun. He's easy. And I say this, but he's probably gonna kill me. So we're just gonna run over here. What's up, Colossus? Yeah, he likes to stomp on people. It's really annoying. 
but hold on. Such as like, I suppose. Oh, now he's starting to spawn some buddies. I just want to take care of them as much as possible. Whoa, barrel roll. Let me get this power up. Go ahead, knock on this one before. Oh, sweet, double jumping. Sweet, that's fun. That's nice. Woo, boing. Oh, heck no. Get away. Come on. Let's get them all in the line, and bam! Man, that FMJ does so much damage. So awesome. Bam! Woo. So we can kill them a bit more. And like that. Just like this. And bam. Ow, it's just you and me, Jelly. And you shall die. There we go. Got him. Now we can go back up here. Ooh, level up. Sweet. There's actually a war banner you can get later on in the game, and that's really awesome, because then every single time you level up, the war banner gets placed down right where you level up, and then as you're inside of the area, you do a lot more damage and all that. It's really awesome. Really effective, and all. then sometimes you can level up a bunch of times in the same area, so then you have a bunch of war banners in the same place. That, or I think that if you also get a bunch of the war banner upgrades, I think that it'll actually place down a bunch of the war banners, or in a way it changes like the radius of it, so it's a lot further. And it might also change the effect. Like, just amplifies it, and then it's like super duper death. So as you can tell, ooh, I like this one. Yes. Hua. So basically now when I hit stuff, there's a chance that it'll actually place down. Wait, why didn't I double jump there? No! I used my double jump. Woo! So then there's a chance that it'll actually shoot a rocket out, and the rocket will just home in on whatever on earth I may want to kill in the area. So, we have a lot of money, we're just gonna splurge a little bit. Oh cool, Mortar 2. Which works the same way. We. So, obviously now we're gonna have to kill this guy, because otherwise we're gonna have to come back for him later on. Because as you can see now, it says remaining enemies 19. That's quite a lot. So let's see if we can- Yep, there's the missiles, and there's the mortars. So they just home in on whatever enemies in the area. And as you just saw, if the enemy dies, they change course, and go towards an enemy that is alive. Which is extremely nice, especially because I don't like running around the whole map all the time. So now we have that little guy up there. And I believe we also have the Colossus. Yep, there's the Colossus. So it seems like this is where the majority of the enemies are now. Luckily, since I've got this missile launcher and I've got the mortar tube, I should be able to kill them pretty quickly. It's just a matter of getting up there. Which I'm doing right now, so it shouldn't be that much longer. And here we go. Yep, see, missiles everywhere. Missiles galore, it's so fun. So the Colossus was just bleeding a little bit too. Which is really nice because the speed on the Colossus is just a little bit more. So Colossus is almost dead. Hopefully he'll drop his special weapon. Ooh, I did not. I don't think I forgot that. Reduce all your cooldowns by one. Okay, cool. Well, that was pretty nice. So now we're about to go into the next level. I believe there's uh, seven, maybe five to seven levels that you can play at one time. And the nice thing is, when you're onto the final level, it actually gives you the option to go back and replay any previous level, we'll replay the levels in the past, just so you can get extra money. The way it works is, it just gives you the option, like, hey, you want to go back to a uh, previous level now, or do you want to fight the boss? You know, we're just, we have a lot of money, and at the end of every level, it does take away all your money, converts it to XP, so we might as well get a couple worms, get some protection. So, basically then, sometimes I like to go through and just play back a little bit more, do some more grinding, just a bit, and that's normally when it'll send in like a gazillion bosses at you. Because normally otherwise it'll do like maybe one at a time. And even then it only really does that at the last like level before the final boss. So, now we're gonna teleport, see all the money got converted to XP. Oh great, I hate this place. I really hate this one. It's really annoying, it's basically just like a bunch of mushrooms that plant, like, fungus death clouds and stuff like that. It's really annoying. Oh, and him. I hate these fire things. They're so annoying. Fortunately, I've got a ton of explosives now in the form of sticky bombs. Oh, and the imps, I hate the imps, they teleport towards you. And then they start attacking you, it's really annoying. Like that. Just like that. Like, seriously, just go and die. Yeah, like that. Okay, so now if we go over here... Oh, you want to try killing me. Both of you want to try killing me. Well, guess what? No. So we're just gonna... 
of her right here. I'm just gonna let our death stuff. Oh great! Ah, crap. So it seems like Mr. Laser Beam guy got me. Yeah, him. Gosh. Spitter, that's what they're called. They call him a spitter, but I always call them the laser beam thing, because they always shoot laser beam things at me. Well, I guess that's it for now. If you guys want me to play this game some more, I will. It's a really fun game. Otherwise, definitely go check it out. It is really awesome. Hopefully it'll go on sale during the winter sale. If it does, I wholeheartedly recommend you try it out. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Burn on.